in today's video i'm going to show you how to win as prussia so let's just start it well hello there this is lost jedi and today we are playing as prussians and i will be showing you how you can form germany with one of the easiest way and powerful way without further ado let's just start it right now as always let's talk about the strategy that we're going to execute and the position of prussia in 1836 they are quite strong and I'm going to show you how you can actually snowball with this country. As always, it seems like Prussia is a small country, but it is not. I'm telling you, it's just so strong that even France and Russia, these big countries, they're not going to be able to handle us by themselves. Two we want, you can easily get it as Prussia. This is how Prussia strong. Well, what makes Prussians so strong? And that is the thing that we're going to find out in this video. And please, before we start the video, just hit that like button, man. It won't hurt you. And also, if you're not subscribed yet, just subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get the 1k sub. And it's all free. Just one click. Alright, let's just talk about our, our economy. As always, I like to talk about economy first. I'm gonna max out my taxation. I don't want to go maximum because right now we don't need that much money. So this is fine for consumption taxes. You can put it in services. Actually, right now I don't want to, but... In case I will need a money, I will do it. If you think like you, you're going to need a lot of money, just do it at the start of the game. But I don't really like to do that because we'll have a lot of state edicts, which I'm going to show you in a second. And for your technology, you have two options. In my opinion, you can go for this one or water tube boiler. It's, it's all up to you. For my run, I am actually going to start with this one and then we're going to move to nationalism. This is very vital as well, by the way, I made it wrong. So let's just do this. By the way, there's like this little plus if you add it, there'll be a Q. And then I'm going to go back to production methods and I'm just going to go for this one. This three will be enough. Once we finish them all, I will talk later what you should go for next. And let's talk about the best things about Prussia. Our lows are so good that like there are some problems that we can easily fix. There's not going to be, in my opinion, a civil war or something like that. Like you can easily fix your low system. For example, you don't have any national guard or secret police. So you can start with this one or maybe you can start with colonial affairs. Or you can start with get rid of local police force and get the dedicated police force. It's all up to you. For my run, I'm gonna start with the colonial one. You might be wondering why. The reason is actually simple. The reason I push for a colonial game is because of the history. Because the Germans didn't really got a chance to get a lot of colonies like Britain and France. So even though I'm not Germany, I'm gonna start to colonize. And once we form Germany, we will have a lot of colonies. And your construction centers, I recommend you to build at least five or six of them. And prioritize to build them in Silesia and Brandenburg. Actually, Silesia is way more important because now we have a local pricemen. So, construction centers use a lot of things. And those are the things that we will most likely produce in Silesia. So, they're going to get the irons from the mines and then they're going to put it in construction centers. So, it's going to be so easy for them and cheap for them. And whatever you do, just give Silesia road maintenance and also encourage your source industry. This is very, very vital. I highly recommend you to do it. And also promote social mobility. This is also very good. I highly recommend you to do it as well. I think we can even build a couple more. Yeah, let's just do a couple more. And then, of course, we're going to need a lot of irons. And I'm going to build them all in Silesia for now. And then we're going to need a lot of sulfur. I'm going to start queuing up here. And last but not least, we're going to need a lot of logging camp as well. You can do pretty much anywhere you want. I'm going to start to doing it in the Western Germany. I think this is a pretty good start. We are going to need a huge naval force. We only have one that we really need to focus on. Actually, I'll probably forget about it. So let me just start to build them. I built 11 of them. I think this will be enough. You're going to realize why I want a naval dominance in some places in future. I'm going to show you actually in five years or something like that. So you can unpause the game for your diplomacy by the way this is also very important i'm sorry that you need to improve relations with every single nation in germany except the austrians by the way you can form super germany there's a nation called super germany which includes you know like germany is basically your unifying all german nation except austria but there is actually an option you can form a super germany which includes also austria however i'm not going to do that because i don't think that's very realistic but if you want me to play out Austria, I can do that. And especially if you're trying to do the thing that I'm, I told you to do, you will probably have 
a little problem with your influence so what i recommend you to do just get rivals get as much as rivals as you can so let's just see yeah we're gonna rival netherlands i'm actually gonna rival france as well because as i mentioned we're gonna need a lot of influence point and for sure man i'm not gonna be allied with Fr france because they have the province that i really want to have and also this is something it's just my recommendation if you do it do it if you don't it's okay if you owe russians obligation they accept your alliance at the start of the game so this is in my opinion it's vital but it's all up to you again and now we can seriously start the game and there you go we got our first colonial law which was actually vital in our strategy because people don't even want that and also you're gonna need a lot of a lot of iron all the money that i'm losing at this point is just because of the iron you can actually check from here as well that you can so easily realize that you're spending all of your money to iron and the rest so what we're going to do is that we're going to build more iron i know i've already built a lot of them but i'm going to do it more so let's just actually separate this and also again we're going to need logging camps as well so let's just build them too yeah this is a very good one and now we can actually start our first wars, which is going to be against Denmark because we need to liberate the states, the German states, which are under the control of Denmark. However, I don't recommend you to do it very early. Just wait a couple of more years, like maybe a year, maybe two years, and then we will do our move. Now we're, I'm trying to fix my economy. So it's February and 1839. I think this is the time where we're going to attack Denmark. There are two options you can either liberate them or like you can literally conquer them for yourself i am actually gonna liberate holstein but i'm gonna conquer this provinces you might be wondering why i don't know it's just this is how i wanted to do and this is how i am going to do as well so let's just go for this diplomatic play and the play started we're gonna add conquer states and damn we cannot add schleswig okay okay it seems like my plan didn't work so we're gonna liberate them both as far as I know, when we form Germany, like, they automatically become part of us. So, we'll see that. We'll see that. I think it, it's it's worked like that. So, even if we only liberate them, that's, that's more than enough. But I need to make this my primary goal as well. And also, I can add some war operations as well. Yeah. I think they're going to back down, though. And also, by the way, one more note, too. That we break our alliance with Russia because they didn't want it to. Then I... Made an alliance with Britain, and now once we were talking about it, France actually sided with the Denmark. This is not a bad thing, guys. I swear this is not a bad thing. Because now we can actually get Alsace-Lorraine from the France with the help of the Britain. And I am actually gonna give them Prussian Kenya. Like, this is even enough by himself that you need to go colonization first. Just because I have two colonies. Guys, like, that, I didn't even start to colonize, like, so far. I only had two provinces and now I can bring Britain anyways now we can mobilize and let's just add one more goal and of course I'll says Lorraine it's gonna put us a lot of infamy but I don't really care to be honest and also I want war repression from France this is also very vital in my opinion well there you go the war has started and let's see if Britain is actually gonna do what we're going to do with France and also this is going to be a tough war because France is actually stronger than you at the start of the game. So I highly recommend you to max out the money that you pay for your army. So let's just stop uh, doing this. I think we can win this. Uh, so let me just actually do naval invasion. And by the way, guys, this is also one of the reasons why I told you build your navy because you're going to need it anyways. You see, as you can see, even for Denmark, you're going to need a naval invasion. So this is the strategy that we're going to follow. And also, by the way, for France, I put my army onto defensive because defense is most of the times is better than offensive in the early game. So I'm just going to stay here and wait for Britain to do something. Well, it seems like we're going to win this war very easily because we capitulated Denmark and France is all, on, all alone in this war. However, I don't think I can stand more. So I'm just going to do white peace. This is very bad. I wish I could actually get what I wanted from them. By the way, we got our second low as well. But I didn't want it to stay in this war longer. You might be wondering why also Lorraine is very important. But guys, like the thing is, we're going to need to fight with Austria as well. And Austria is getting more stronger than... Also, which is something scary in my opinion. That's why I'm just going to say no for now. I'm just going to rest. And in the future, we can do what we want. But now I'm going to stay here and stabilize my economy. 
All right, now we're gonna try to do something crazy as we always do. We're gonna attack Ching and get treaty port from Ching. This is very important. Like I know some of the people don't do that. Don't even consider that because we're, we're playing as Prussia. Like why would we ever do that, right? Well, that is not true because <laughs> even as Prussia, first of all, Ching is a very good market that you really wanted to access. By the way, while we were talking, this should happen. So let me just go for this and North German Federation is form actually all we need to do is just go here and launch our leadership play however unfortunately this is a bit unlucky because i literally start my war with ching but it's okay in my opinion it's okay france even wants to join us but hell no i'm not gonna give you a single german province well england wants kenya i think i can defeat ching by myself but i think if i call england into war it will be way easier for me and we will defeat Ching way faster than we would. And then I can actually attack Austrians. So I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna call Britain with prom promising them I will give them Kenya. I will give them, but I, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Because I already have South Cameroon, so I don't mind giving them this shit. Now I'm thinking like, should I even do naval invasion? Because I think Great Britain can handle this very, very easily. I don't know what to do here. Let's actually mobilize one troop. Oh, we actually have a front line now that I realized. Yeah, that's that's my bad. Now let's just send our troops. I forgot, I totally forgot that England actually has a province here in, in, in Qing. I hope they don't occupy this land. Let's see, please. Yeah, there you go. British men arrive. Five days, four days, three days. Okay, now we're good, we're good. Till Britain uh, hold on that place, I will immediately come and help them. And also the main reason I do this war, like, Ming is just so, so easy to conquer. Like their, their army is so trash that you can pretty much do whatever you want. I only want treaty port and war repression. By the way, you can get a province. If you have a province in China, it's like a exploit or something like that. That's why I really don't recommend you to do it because it really makes game exploit. What I recommend though, just get a tre treaty port from China. It's, it's just so easy. Even without help of Great Britain, I think you can actually win this war. Again, we got what we want. I think the war only lasts for a year. I don't know where to check that actually. Yeah, I have no idea where to check that. So I'm just gonna piece them out. We didn't lose that many things to be honest. When you look at the details, it's only Britain who lost the war casualties and the money so now we got our treaty port which is important and also finally we're in positive because we're getting 35,000 pound every week from china this is the main reason why i always want you and encourage you to go war with china now what we're going to do we're gonna bring back our boys to home and then start our war against Austrians. I think now this is the perfect time for us to attack Austria-Hungary. Actually, we're only gonna do unification war. So how are we going to do? We're gonna go to cultures tabs and then we're gonna go to Germany and launch our leadership. As you can see, nobody, literally no one supporting Austrians. So I think it's gonna be easy for us. We will 100% get Britain in our side, though I I think I will not ask anything from Austria. Maybe I will. I'm not sure actually. Let's check. Of course, I'm going to call Britain. And this time, for for one time, I'm going to use call my ally. Because we are just ally. I, I want him to join my war. And I can also call Russia into the war. With promising them some treaty port from, uh, I don't know. I think this is two sisters, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we got Russia as well. Now what I want is actually I want France to join the Austrian side so that we can finally get what we want, which is Alsace-Lorraine. However, that's not very vital. So what I'm actually going to add is going to be Bohemia because Bohemia is one of the most important states in Austria. Let me show you here. 13% of their economy actually coming from Bohemia. That's why it's very important. Like it's even stronger than Austrian capital state. They have double amount of population and GDP also, I think, yes, double amount. So you really want Bohemia as well. I'm going to wait a little bit more. I only left with 20 maneuver, but let's see what's going to happen here. By the way, I want to make this primary as well. And also let's add this as well because I want this war to happen because I got everyone in my side. Like, why would I even reject this war? 
So let's just wait. Actually, let me just send my units into the border. there. I, d I don't even need the fight, to, to be honest. Like, we got what we want from everyone. But yeah, let's just make sure that we win this war. Let me send you here. Yeah, there you go. I think this is perfect, and let's see what's going to happen. After a very, very tough war, we managed to actually capitulate Austrians. But I'm telling you, this was a very, very tough I think if you can make this war earlier or you can rush for like some military technologies, this war would be like 10 times easier. But in my game, Austria was so strong that he actually pieced out both Russia and GB. So what I went for was I actually wanted to try the naval invasion, as you can see, because I couldn't be able to push Austria from Bohemian front. So I was like, why don't we just naval invade the Dalmatia and then push forward from the south? We actually managed to do that. I think he will accept the terms. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now we got what we want. I want to show you how much we lost, actually. This is not all of the losers. I know it seems like they've lost way more than we lost. But the, th the fact that we had Britain and Russia and you don't see them here. So let's just do our peace deal here. And there you go. Now we got Bohemia. And also, as you can see, we formed the North German Federation with a very, very bad color. And now, we got everything we want. After you take this provinces, by the way, reset their production methods. This is very important. So, very quick, let me just do that. There you go. Now, we are a very handsome North German Federation. What we are going to wait is going to be probably... By the way, let's just check this. I think I'm going to go with the technology one. And there you go. But uh, Also... I forget to focus on universities. This is my mistake, my bad. So I'm just gonna build a couple of universities all around the country, especially the ones which has a high population. Also, we need to incorporate Bohemia because they're not part of Germany. So I'm just gonna start doing that. I'm not sure once we form Germany, the Bohemia w was going to be incorporated or what. I, I, I really don't know. If you know, just mention in the comments, but just in case I want to start doing it. And I also have a lot of progress points that I can spare. So why not? All right. Now we are way stronger than what we were. So let me now actually focus on my economy. I think now I can actually build more construction centers. And we have a few problems. Mainly that we don't have railway enough of the country. So I'm going to actually build three here. One here in Hesse and one in Holstein. I think we can build port in Holstein. Yeah, there you go. This is a very good start now. Now I'm going to focus on the things, the goods that I don't have it and I'm exporting highly. Also, now I realize why people actually really love Germany because this is actually fun. Like, this is actually fun. After you're from North German Federation, it's actually so easy to form Germany. All you have to do is just improve relations with the others. I actually didn't even notice that I could immediately form Germany, which I am actually going to do. We could get Alsace-Lorraine. Actually... I might seriously try to do that, but I don't think I am strong enough to do that. We will get it once we form Germany, so I'm not gonna rush for that. I just wanna have a peaceful Germany. Now, as you can see here, we got every support that we can get. You can also get Austrian support and form Super Germany. There is a way. Don't think like this is almost impossible how we're gonna do that. There is a way, guys. Just chill. But now, I'm actually gonna form Germany. That's it. And there you go. We got our claim as well we're gonna get a lot of authority and popularity i'll take it i don't mind so now we are a very handsome germany and of course the second you get these provinces just reset their production methods as well because you need to make them your own production culture now let's build this railways as well now we have a proper country now i feel like i'm so strong actually in terms of gdp i don't know what is our rank? Let me actually check with you guys. So, when actually check it. Yes. We can actually... Okay. We overthrow the Britain as well. We're so close. But I really think we can take the throne from the British Empire. Also, I want to tell you one more thing. If you're playing at Germany, please prioritize the colonization. For example, you should definitely go for these places in Africa. This is a very good pr places. And also Indonesia, a lot of good provinces here exist. Or Arabia, Ethiopia, every place is good. It's just I'm actually a bit lazy. That's why I don't want to go for it. I'm mainly going to focus on Europe. And now I'm actually going to fully focus on my military. So that I can actually do what I wanted to do. 
Also, I was getting less tax because I was getting a lot of money. Now I can increase that. And we spent a hundred thousand to iron Jesus. No, that's not gonna happen. So let's make it a normal price. I was actually even encouraged to export them. We're the number one. As always, I produced 7,500, which is extremely high when you look at the number two, which is Great Britain. They only produce almost 2,000. So the iron is the most important thing in this game. So do prioritize that. So let's talk about our industry. Uh, I think I'm going to get a couple of these and I'm going to focus on my population here. Let's just build them. And then I actually want to build steel manufacturers as well. So let's just do this. Three will be enough. Some paper. So like, like basically do whatever you can. We have 270 in construction centers in 1850 this is pretty much enough for you now i'm waiting for my infamy to go down which is almost 22 then my plan is take control over belgium and then france so we'll see what's gonna happen there i was actually a little bit bored and my infamy goes down very quickly so what i wanted to do i actually wanted to attack denmark and sweden joined i don't mind to fight with sweden but Giving Russia 3D port won't hurt me. That's why I'm just gonna do it actually. Like, let's just give him one in Gotland. This will make our relationship way better with the Russians. Because I'm gonna need them in the war with the French Empire. Even though I don't get their helps, I don't want them to help the France either. By the way, United States of America joined the Danish side. Okay, this is bad. This is seriously bad. But I don't think there will be any problem because we are very, very strong in my opinion, aren't we? Yeah, I think we are. So, is there any other nation that we can actually get? Okay. France and uh, Austria, they actually want to join, but they can't. I actually want to end my rivalry with you. Yeah, just go ahead. Let's just end our rivalry and improve relationship because I don't want to fight with Austria again. Like, I already won the war. That's it. Let's just mobilize our armies. If I am fighting with America, I want their war reparation. However, I don't think that's going to happen. So let's just forget about that. I could get Sweden as my protector. Should we do that? That's going to bring a lot of people into our coalition. But I, to be honest, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> let's see our infamy. Yeah, it's 49. At least we're not 50. And I do trust my army, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, we can easily defeat this wall. I, I trust my army. I trust my army. It's just, I wish we could bring Finland into this war, but however, I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to have a little bit like world war here. I'm a little bit worried, but let's see what's going to happen actually. I'm curious now. And we got whole Scandinavia as part of our custom union, should I say? I don't know what to say actually. So let me exactly show you. I, I totally forgot wh where is market. Yes, there you go. This is the normal German market. Like, this should be always the case in every situation. Now I'm happy. But the real thing is, guys, let me teach you some trick in this game. This one, this little thing, this little technology is very, very important. Because most of the times, AI don't have it. Even if you're playing a multiplayer, your friends will probably don't know what's going on here. But if you actually get this technology your artillery will be so strong i'm telling you it will be so strong that the others cannot do anything so let's actually focus on that one that's why i i prioritize this one it's it's gonna finish in two weeks let's just wait and let me show you how are we going to defeat french by the way after this war probably we will not even think about infamy because like i i will probably go over 100 maybe 200 We'll see, we'll see. So first of all, one of our production method changed. So let's just focus on that one. I haven't seen which one, by the way. Okay, let's just fix that one too. And uh, not this one. Yes, there you go. This is what we want. So we're just going to go for this one. Again, this is so important. But after you get that, you should click this button. If you don't click this button, like it will be so useless. Like there is no difference between you do it or you don't do it. Because that one means that you got the technology, but if you don't use it, like why would you even have it? So what we are going to do, I'm going to get more artillery in my army and then I will attack France and take what we 
supposed to have. Now we have 253 battalions and we got a lot of technologies as well. This is exactly the time that we're going to reclaim our territories in France. So let's just click the return state. This will cost us 11 infamy, which is, to be honest, it's almost uh, nothing. So we're gonna call Great Britain, of course, because I think some of the great powers will help uh, France. Let's mobilize everything we have here because this is going to be a tough war and i'm gonna show you how our army annihilate the 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 french ones okay i got a lot of provinces from france one for me also serene as you know and one colonies and i want to humiliate them as well let's get one more actually province here and let's see what we can do actually this is enough this is pretty much enough i don't want to change their regime because you know like if you do that to France, like, it, it doesn't end up well for you. So this is good. We're spending too much money. Like, too much money. Like, very crazy. I don't know what to do about it. We're not even max out our military. Actually, I should do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that, to be honest. This is a very important war. Because this war will lead us to non-stoppable infamy one. Because then I'm gonna attack Belgium and Netherlands and you're gonna see everyone is gonna join against me. Guys, you know what? In Victorian era, war system was very, very different. It was developing so fast and everyone is trying to catch up together. And the way they apply this thing to the game is very, very weird in my opinion. So the war is going on for a very long time and we haven't been able to push a single tile. Like literally a single tile. So this is the time I realized that I should give up, even though I gave him way more casualties and Coastal War is like double amount, it's almost triple amount. As you can see, we only lost 6 and 7 million, sorry, 6.7 million pound, while France lost almost 15 million. So which is incredibly good amount of money that France lose. And also, Great Britain have a civil war that I will help him out, by the way. And also, let's just peace out. Uh, I know I wanted to have those things, but unfortunately I couldn't. There you go, we have private health insurance. Also guys, like in terms of your lows, sometimes having the private one is also good. Like even though you might think that oh, it's if it's not public, I'm not gonna have it. No, like you don't need to do that. Let's just demobilize our army because we spent too, ma too much money on that. By the way, I never had any problem with my money. It's just like we're always winning <laughs> and as you can see it's automatically going down to positive. So this is a very good time for us to wait and chill. We have a lot of problems as you might easily see here. By the way, I think this is time for me to end this video because it's almost 1860 and we actually managed to do what we wanted to do which is forming German Empire. I think you could have formed this empire way earlier. I went for China that kind of blocked me and also some unlucky stuff happened. But now we are German Empire. We have a treaty port in China. I haven't colonized. I only have a couple of provinces in Africa. As you can see, we're colonizing so fast in Africa, but that's it. But if you're not lazy like me, just conquer these places, conquer these places, conquer this area. It's all free real estates. And also we got whole Scandinavia for our market for our custom union. Let me actually show you that as well. Well, I cannot actually show you. But anyways, as you know, these guys are also under our protector. Oh, there you go. You can see from here. And by the way, Great Britain owes us obligation and we owe Russia obligation. These are very normal thing. AI don't even use obligations. So just give them whatever they want if they are willing to do what you want. Well, thanks to this episode, I realized why Germany is very, very strong. And also, as you can see here, we're number two. Let me show you the GDPs as well. There you go. We have the highest GDP. Don't look at China. There are two China, actually. And there's one India. Just don't think about that. And keep in mind, I haven't focused on my economy. I mainly focus on my army, even though I've some sort of got only white piece. But it doesn't matter. And last thing. If we probably play this game a couple of weeks more, I think I will even become a number one great power. But I want to finish this video here. Like I said, I want to make it way longer than it should be. If you want me to continue this campaign, mention in the comments. I try to read all of them. And also, if you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, just click that button as well. Again, it's all free, guys. And I promise if you 
subscribe to the channel i will make a lot more guides just like this thank you for watching this video i hope i can see you in the next one take care